Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Jelly is Sticky. Last time I failed to solve the final puzzle in Chapter 7, I thought about it some, and I think I kind of have some ideas and a framework for how I would go about solving it, uh, but I haven't actually done the legwork, done my homework uh, that I need to do for that yet. Um, what is this? That was like the entrance to Chapter 5, I guess. So is this going to be Chapter 8 over here? Let's find out. Meta. Oh, meta. Interesting. Okay, let's go left to right. Reset disables power. Okay. Red I to S. Ah, it's an I Tetris piece that needs to become an S Tetris piece. The uh, name of the puzzle seemed a little confusing at first. Okay. Could I do that, and that, and that? Haha! -ha. Great. Red O to T. Okay, great. Um, how do I think this one's going to work? Seems like it's going to work like that. All right, nice and easy. Get things started. Red Z to S. Um, not really sure. I think that's not gonna work yet. Maybe I need to do this. There we go. Okay. I... <laughs> Those were easy puzzles and the hard puzzle was to realize that you needed to get these oranges one at a time. So if I, hmm. if I go back and go back in here, they'll all be solved, right? Can I, what happens if I push this here and then try to resolve this puzzle? Let's find out. Um, right, so this one is just like this. It has not undone itself here. So I guess I need to R to reset. Okay. And so... Probably doesn't matter what order I do them in. Uh, I see. I've already solved the puzzle, so I don't have to solve it a second time. Okay. Oh, so this is a... So there's an implicit mechanic here. That we had never worked with that was at play in some of the world map puzzles that maybe reset disables power the name of the puzzle i reset the puzzle it disabled the power and so that turned them back into individual blocks that were not stuck together and allowed me to do what i just did to solve this okay meta it's the meta puzzles it's all those things that we weren't able to reach on the outside it's cluing me into how i'm gonna do that Okay. Press B to go back. Okay, I, I know about that. Uh, oh. So if I... <laughs> press B to go back. I can go inside this puzzle. It brings me to the same puzzle, but the strawberry has been pushed to the right. The strawberry has been pushed to the right. The strawberry has been pushed to the right. I will continue. That brings me here, and now if I press B to go back, that solved that. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. I did not expect this type of meta mechanic to explain the puzzles that we were not previously able to reach on the world map, and this is clever. Uh, identity change. Okay. Um, tell me about this puzzle. Oh! Whoever I am, let me go back. I am a strawberry piece of jelly. I go into this puzzle. I am a strawberry piece of jelly. However, 
If I am an orange piece of jelly who goes into this puzzle, now I am an orange piece of jelly. Okay, I get it. Very interesting. So the identity, so I could choose which of these two guys would be my starting color piece of jelly as I re-entered the puzzle, but this is just a recursive puzzle. And Okay, I get it. And I can press B to go back. <laughs> okay, and that has, oh, I'm on the other side of like a metal lock. I understand. I want to be sticky. So if I go in here, now that I've already solved that, if I go in here, become sticky, and now hit back. Now I'm still strawberry in here. Hmm. So I would have to be sticky back out here. So if I back out of this puzzle, I would need a sticky orange guy to go in there to solve the metal lock. Which I need now if I want to get to the next thing, it looks like. So is there a way that I could have been a sticky orange guy? So I have not solved the puzzle that's to the right of me over here. Yeah, sticky orange would also be... Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Uh-huh. Okay. And, yeah, like, reset... Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And did I have to do that back out in the main lobby of one through four? Possibly. I don't know that there's a good way to know the answer to that. Let's see, let's just peek inside like this. Could I have been, no, I didn't have any other eyeballs in here that I could have been. But I'll, no, 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 it's only when you move forward anyway. So I think I think it's telling me that back out in lobby one through four, which I have just backed out to. So this is the very start. Somewhere in here, is there another bit of eyeballs that I could have been controlling? There's a star here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There's a star over there. This one is lit up and that one is not stuff I didn't do over here. I don't immediately recognize that puzzle. 14 of 16 salt. Let's, let's go inside here. Cocos, coconuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's like, okay, more puzzle over there that once again, I would need... If I were a sticky orange... If I were a sticky orange, what would I be able to do? No, if I were grape, I could push this to the right, not pull it back to the left. And something, something dark side? Okay. <laughs> I'm just starting to get a sense. Okay, and over here, if I were... Sticky orange. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how any of that would help me. Could I get like multiple eyeballs out into this area somehow? So this one seems to be lit up. I would need a sticky orange here, but then I need to like unstick. Hmm. Yeah, there's still something I'm not seeing. But now I'm having to like recontextualize the whole lobby. There's that. There's this that's not lit up. That happens when I finish 5, 6, 7, 8, but I'm not even sure how to do that. So, okay. Um, I fear that I just need to wander around a little bit and figure out... Where is the important bit of information that I've missed? Because I missed something along the way somewhere that would enable me to change colors. Is it back at the very beginning? Hold on, if I back out of here, I can't back out of here. 
When I'm in vestibulum, I'm always a piece of strawberry jelly. And there's a blue star. I guess that's just, is this a dark star or is this a star that's not lit up for some reason? That says 14 of 16 salt. Okay, I hadn't really paid attention to this before. This is 12 of 15 solved. Let's go all the way back into one. Now that I've included about the meta. Three of three solved. Okay, so one is done. Two has unsolved puzzles. Let's go back into two. And try to witness what was unsolved. It looks like they're all solved here. Uh, that says three of three solved. Where did I see 12 and 13? Oh, it was over here. That was the entrance to two. This is the actual two. Okay, 12 and 15 solved. Okay, so. Um, right. So we got through all of that stuff. Over here. I pushed my way through some grape jelly over here. I solved something over here. However... Oh, I just picked up a guy. Do I need to be another color already? How would I get in here? Because that's... Okay. I... Mm -hmm -hmm. Could I have... Mm -hmm -hmm. Suppose I take a piece of grape jelly with me. Out here. How is this going to help me? I'm not sure. It's going to help me because I can scrape off this piece. Uh, except for I just trapped that in there. Okay, let's undo that. Now I'm out here. Now I'm in here. Okay. <laughs> I did not need the meta knowledge to solve this. If I had just witnessed there were more puzzles here, I could have solved this. So every area seems to have a set of puzzles which are necessary to get to where you solve the area. There may still be more puzzles that don't necessarily require any meta knowledge, such as this one, that you can get to after the point where you could have already solved the area, and I hadn't done those. So now we're back into two swim. Okay. <laughs> are you following all this? Great. Um, this does not seem difficult. I need to move four tiles to the right and two tiles up. Here's one up. Here's two to the right. Uh, but then... Yeah, I'm having a hard time swimming. Okay. So there's an ordering. How am I getting far enough to the right? Suppose I go... Yeah, how am I getting any farther to the right? I would need to already be up a bit. So maybe... I want to use these sooner. And then approach from the south? That doesn't seem right. Okay. <laughs> uh... Much of the game had seemed relatively easy and straightforward thus far, and I think we have now discovered where some of the harder puzzles may lie, which is great. Uh, why would I want to do that? I can see in my brain where my stumbling block is, how to overcome that stumbling block has not yet become apparent to me. Hmm. If I were in this row and could get one further to the right, I would be able to go up, up, and solve it. So how can I get further to the right? and also be in that row. Here's further to the right, but not in that row.
What if I overshoot? Then come over here. Uh, I'm still not in that row. Oh, okay, I'm starting to witness something, which is I managed to push two blocks to the right here. If I want to be one square to the right of where I am right now, that implies that one of the two blocks that's currently over there, or one of the four blocks that's currently over there, actually should be to the left of me. I think. Or it could have been pushed up or down. Oh, up or down, right, could have been pushed down. Like this. There we go. So I managed to push a block up over here, and then I managed to push a block down over here. That opened up these two, which enabled me to push just two to the right to get over it here, which enables me to solve the puzzle. Okay, neat, neat. <laughs> Rain swirl. I just need to get one there. I am currently controlling you. And so this seems like a case of... A case of what? If I could push this down again, I'd be in good shape. Could I push it down again? Perhaps. Uh, not there. I can't push it down like that, though. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't push that anymore. Can I? Mm -hmm, no, this is no good. Okay. Brain, please engage. It's very important that you engage. What if I did push that in? And then just made this whole thing a circle? Then I could push that out. But there's no other pushing I can do, so that does not seem good. I need to get in the middle. How do I get in the middle? Suppose I did do this. This is always wrong, right? Because I can never push the stuff that's to the right of me back to the left at this point. Which means this will always be blocking this. There aren't a lot of options. I can't push this any farther down. And when I do this, like, nothing good happens. What am I failing to see? This does not seem like, it feels like a very tightly constrained puzzle. And so whatever move I am not seeing can't be hidden that well. It should be obvious. Pushing to the right, I don't believe it's going to help me. For the reasons I called out before, it definitely makes the puzzle impossible, as far as I can tell. Do I need to enter this puzzle as a different color? I doubt it, because we're in World 2, and Strawberry and Grape were the only colors that existed at this point, and Strawberry wouldn't really change anything, since the rest of them are all Grape. They would be unaffected by anything other than Orange. As far as my understanding of the game's physics, as it were. Like, it feels like it kind of wants me to do that, but then what? <laughs> then there's just nothing. Can't push here. Pushing here definitely makes the puzzle unsolvable, right? I mean, if I did this... There's nothing else, there's nowhere else I can push anything anywhere, right? Right. Okay, what am I not seeing? I'm staring at it, I'm still not seeing it. I feel like it's unsolvable, so maybe I do need to bring an orange in here somehow. So if I just back out of this for now, let's see about this puzzle. Expand. This... Hmm... The strawberry will start to stick together. I currently have eight, and then there's 
Another 8, that would be 16, and I need all 16. Can I imagine slicing up any of them right now? Perhaps. He says, unconfidently. Um, yeah, okay, like I'm starting to do some things, so like, there's part of it-ish, kind of. But that's still not right. Is this doable from this position? So the, the thing that is questionable to me... is how would I get, like, the air bubble? Like, I need these eight, the eight squares that are currently filled by the inner strawberry need to become empty. So I would have to be, like, shearing off pieces in such a way that creates air inside where I am living. And I feel like that's also maybe not possible Because it feels like the strawberry is always kind of... Oh, there's an air bubble. Okay, I lied. Okay, so I created an air bubble. How did I do that? Let's actually undo a few squares. I understand how I did that now. I created little feet, and then I pressed, and... It, yeah, okay. So I need to do that kind of in every direction. Okay. So there's a foot, and I can do that. And now that it's four tall, here's a foot, and I can do that. Okay, now I'm starting to see it. Here's a foot, and I can do that. And then here's this, and I can do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, had the right insight. That really makes me think... I'm going to take one more look at this, even though I just spent a couple of minutes off-camera looking at this. Is there something here... That I can do. Okay, I said that this move could never help, but or could never make it solvable, but what I didn't realize is I can push this up two now. Which means I can push that out two. Which might be interesting. Like from this position. Uh Okay, this is the only like pushing I can do anywhere. I got a piece of grape jelly outside, but now I think none of the rest is pushable. And, okay, one other thing. So this enables me to push this up too. Suppose I then push that over just one. I could push this over two, and now my eyeballs are over here. And I could push that up one. And push this over two, and now my eyeballs are here, and I can push this over two, and that gets my eyeballs in here. Okay, so incorrect assumption almost cost me on that one. Okay, well, I'm glad to have solved it. I am unhappy about how long it took me to solve it. But now I believe I have solved all of the puzzles in the zone. And that lit a- oh, and it gives me a- okay, so the stars are like a bonus block, and that bonus block, which is all glowy and whatever, allows me to walk past this without sticking to it, which enables me to get to a puzzle we have never seen before. Well, we saw from the outside, but now we're actually able to step inside. Undecorate. And so I need to get these pieces out against out from being stuck against walls so I need to do some clever stick to itness um, for example suppose I did the uh, now they're stuck against that wall so uh, huh. Who wants to stick where first? Like, I could push that north or south. 
I have an L shape, but it's still stuck against the wall, and I can never get the leverage I need. How would I ever get the leverage I need? I don't know how to get the leverage I need. How can I ever get anything stuck, unstuck from the left wall? Let's just start with that. Here is one piece that is unstuck from the left wall. In order to get something else, I probably need some tool shape. So suppose I did this. Well, now that's stuck against the south wall. And that doesn't help me unstick it. That does allow me to push in a couple directions, which is nice. But I still can't unstick. And while I can kind of witness that I could do this, I am not currently in the bottom left. And so that has not helped me enough. And also doing this has not helped me enough. Ooh! Ah, right! It's strawberry. What am I thinking? I can do this, which allows me to move like this. Okay. Right. I just shear off strawberry. Okay. So that's what I wasn't thinking of. So... So I think I want to make... Come on, Brain. You can do it. <laughs> You've done it before. So I see, for example, that I can make a Z piece like this, which if I could get, you know, into the behind it would be great. Um, can't get behind it. I could change it to a T shape like this, but that still doesn't get me off the south wall. And so I need to build like some probably like five large Tetris piece that enables me to start pushing from two sides somehow, somewhere. Huh. It's amazing how much more difficult the puzzles are, even though it just looks like, you know, just ordinary puzzles. Nothing exciting going on here. Don't mind us, we're just a bunch of little strawberry cubes. We've played around with tons of them already. This one seems especially important to me, right? I can push it up or down. If I can push it up or down... Is that important yet? I think not yet. Which means I could do this. And I just got the piece above me started against the south wall and it's no longer against the south wall. So that's a minor victory. It is insufficient. I got it off of the south wall, but I did so by pinning it against the east wall. Okay. And so ideally I would like to do that same thing and not pin it. <laughs> I'm not saying anything particularly noteworthy in terms of strategy. Let's see. I could do something like this. This is starting to get interesting. It's still not there, but it's starting to get a little bit interesting. And actually... I mean, I'm just kind of noting that I can... You know, do things like this. Okay. Starting to see a little bit more. So yeah, bringing things together like over near this corner seems like it has value. Suppose I... Uh, 
Uh, I think I prefer it as a T, probably. Suppose I had a T here. And I can only move it left or right. I can't get this guy to, like, come... Before I push that piece down... Right, that was just to be able to move them all at all. Okay. And I can't have... Could I? Well, now I can't move this to the left. And even if I could connect it, I still wouldn't be on the other side. Mm. Okay. <laughs> We've reached that point of the puzzle game where I'm going to have to start doing quite a bit of editing as I just sit and stare and think about the puzzle. Okay, I'm starting to have a brainstorm. Uh, what does it look like? Not like that. I had the idea of having some kind of rightward L shape over here so that I'm capable of moving this left and right. And then I was going to somehow merge that in over here and do something clever. But I, I needed another piece over here, which I don't have. Okay, just in terms of new observations, I realize that I can get five pieces together against this wall somewhere that's interesting for me to be able to kind of like push them all around together in multiple directions, but they're still stuck against that wall. Um, but basically it was the insight... Eh, hmm. The insight that against this wall, like I can also have this guy come over, and even though he was stuck against the south wall, he can also be stuck against this wall, and so that might be... Hmm... Is there a way to do like a shearing something here? Like now I'm pushing in both directions, which is nice. It's still not enough, but I feel like juices are starting to flow in my brain again. I can also push things against the south wall and get this, and then I can also do this, and that gives me the... <laughs> okay, so just to do that from the beginning... Right, getting the five shape. I didn't realize I could also do it against the south wall. And having done that, then I can stick this together, and that gives me leverage to do this. Which means now I can just push this all over here. Great! Okay! <laughs> and I just lit up green, and so I just feel good about myself. Okay, great! I am happy to have done it. I'm kind of curious now. Mm. So, 14 to 16 solved. Let's just go inside here again. So, I was thinking if I were a different color, I would be able to get in here. I can push that over like that. But then I stick. So yeah, obviously being a different color would change things slightly. But still doesn't seem to want to get me in there. And is there any other thing I could do in here? Like, these don't move yet because they haven't been solved and activated. Unsolving or unactivating other things here doesn't seem like it's going to help me. And back out here, just one other thing I want to check out. When I got this... Ooh. Um... When I got that jelly, it seems like I can't back out of there. Can I get this jelly back again if I go into this puzzle? And then back out? I wanted to get this guy back here, ideally. Uh, I'm not sure that I can do that. What if I... Okay, what if I back out of here? I guess that would be involving quitting to the main menu. I just want to check this out. Okay. So main menu, main game, if I go back in here, these things will all be in their initial positions. So it says, okay, so it shows a red here. 9 to 14 solved. Okay, so did I not revisit this? I didn't revisit this for whatever reason. 
I revisited the initial part of one and I didn't revisit this. Okay, and so this is where presumably there was something clever I could have done other than just solving that puzzle that gives me access to more something. These are all solved. Oh, there's puzzles right over here. Okay. Okay, well, I've located more puzzles <laughs> in some earlier areas. Okay, so basically there's a whole lot of cleanup that we need to do, and I should do it because it's going to exercise my brain in new ways, and also give me more time to possibly recontextualize a couple of the bits that I've been stuck on. So this seems like a good place to call it an episode. I'm going to say, as always, that I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Jelly is Sticky. For now, bye-bye.